Hi, Steve here. I wanted to tell you about the next little project I'm going to be working on, and that's going to be moon, some more moonshine. As uh, if you know, if you've been reading the blog, you know I kind of have an affinity for it. This is the one I found. That, from what they told me, it's a uh, Texas moonshine. It's called South House Moonshine. And what I'm going to do is, uh, and remember, it's all about not only just what you're putting into the barrel, but if unless you're putting it into a brand new barrel, uh, what type of other influencers do you have in what comes out of the barrel? And it has a lot to do with um, what was in the barrel before. I'm going to be taking a one liter barrel that had uh, two gingers uh, Irish whiskey in it. In fact, it's a bottle that uh, two gingers had sent me. I did a review. In fact, I think I've got a couple of reviews on the website blog about the two gingers Irish whiskey. Uh, which is actually quite tasty. Uh, I have aged it for a while in here. I like the way it tastes. I'm going to go ahead and take it. I'm going to pour it into one of my bottles. And then what I'm going to do, before I put the moonshine into the barrel, what I'm going to do is I just picked up, a, it's a $5 bottle of sherry. I mean, some people cook with it, uh, just whatever suits your your taste, but I'm going to put this in the barrel and I'm going to let it soak in for not a, an extremely long time. I, I want to influence the taste of the moonshine with the two gingers Irish whiskey that's in there, but I'm going to put some of this in there. So I want to give it probably about two or three days and I'm going to let it soak into the wood so it'll have the flavor of the sherry mixed in a little bit with the flavor of the two gingers Irish whiskey influencing of course the final and that is the moonshine and uh, I haven't even tasted this actually I was going to open it on the blog today and see what it tastes like give you an idea of kind of what we're looking for I like it because it, number one you never know what you're getting with moonshine and number two it's just, so it's always going to be unique but uh, I get a chance to age it and to really to my taste. So, that's actually, um, it's a little different than any other moonshines that I've had. It's not quite as much of a, as a distinctive flavor as I've had in a lot of other the moonshines I've had. But it's not bad. So I'm definitely looking forward to adding a little bit more of the Irish whiskey flavor, a little bit with the sherry influenced, of course, from the barrel, the, the really the tannins and the vanillins and the, the char that you get really is going to influence. Uh, and then I'll tell you what, you check back on this blog probably within about two months and I'm going to do a review of what this tastes like on the other end. So after aging in about two months, We'll see where we're at and what we've got. So anyway, check back often. And uh, if you have any good ideas, leave them in the comment section or come to our website and shoot me an email and let me know what you're finding successful out there. Look forward to hearing from you.